new to this season of mine, um, which is the uh, the Big Bad Bim tip of the week. So let's roll the clip here. And for those of you not familiar with this segment, this is the Big Bad Bim tip of the week, uh, sponsored by Enscape. Um, if you guys don't know what Enscape is, uh, check out my show and Nick's show and my blog and Nick's blog. We've talked about it pretty extensively, but it is a real-time rendering program for Revit. Fantastic, awesome features. Um, if you head on over to uh, enscape.bimafterdark.com, you will get 10% off your subscription to Enscape. Definitely worth it. Um, check it out for sure. Um, so my tip of the week, uh, and this segment actually, for those of you that don't know, these are tips sent in by you, the audience. And uh, and if I choose your tip, I will send you a free t-shirt. So this week it is Davis. I don't remember where you're from, Davis, but I'm sure you'll know the tip. And he was actually uh, emailing me after seeing the episode with Lauren Schmidt from a couple weeks ago on landscape architecture and Revit. And, uh, and the tip has to do with retaining walls. So I'm going to roll the tip right now and then we'll, we'll get on with it. So lots of people who try to make site walls usually take this approach, which as you can see, once you're done, kind of looks okay. But if I take a look at how this is drawn, I go to edit surface, you'll notice that there's about a thousand points. And when you create it, anyone who's ever done this, which is actually just placing points at the upper and lower, you'll know that if you don't have enough points, you get this kind of stuff. Okay, so when you're building a retaining wall, a lot of people go through the struggle of trying to make all these points and, and trying to get them uh, within the wall and trying to get a clean slope, which is obviously a pain in the butt. So this uh, big bad BIM tip of the week is actually uh, an awesome tip. And what it has to do with is using a split surface to create two surfaces that makes it really easy to make a nice clean slice at your retaining wall. So we're going to do it really fast. We have an example here where we have a wall, we have topo. I'm going to go to my site view. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to massing and site. I'm going to click split surface, click my surface. I'm just going to draw a line straight through and click finish. Now we actually have two surfaces. And if I go to edit surface, you'll see I have points all on this edge. So if I know this wants to be at zero feet, I select all those points and make it at zero feet and click finish. Then I select this surface and say edit surface, select these sides and say, I want this to be five feet. And I click five feet, finish. Now, if I check out my 3D view, you'll see we have this nice clean edge and we have a retaining wall here. So if you've ever had to try and make retaining walls and dealt with that craziness of, of multiple points and overlapping and all those crazy triangulations that you saw back here, this is an awesome tip. So thanks Davis for the tip of the week. All right. So Davis, uh, if you see this episode, shoot me an email, let me know that you saw your tip here. Uh, I thought that was a really cool one and it was kind of neat because it was inspired by a previous episode.